Welcome to our today's video where we are talking about the meter box. The meter box is very important when it comes to any electrical installation because you know what? Here is where the power will drop and finally be distributed to the system either in the house or the electrical system in any installation. So welcome, let us dive right in and discuss a thing or two that is very important when it comes to these meter box. There are some devices that we need to have here. Number one, we have the cutout. Now this is a cutout. What I have here is a double cutout. Why am I referring to it as a double cutout? It has the neutral section and it has the face where we also have this fuse and uh, this is a fuse carrier and there's a fuse inside. Now the face will come through here, the neutral will be connected here and we'll have the output here as well as here. Now, another thing that we'll have in this meter box is definitely this double pole switch or DPMCB, the double pole miniature circuit breaker. This will help in case there is an issue to do with overcurrent or probably to switch off electricity in the house in a simple manner. Another thing is definitely the energy meter. I am using this one just for demonstration purposes. I understand there are token meters which are currently in use. Then we have the cables. So we have this cable. This is a 16 millimeter square cable it is a drop cable it has the connection for the neutral as well as the life we will strip it to expose and show how it looks inside we also have the mains that connect our consumer unit to our meter box these mains are not less than 10 millimeter square so that is what we require Another thing very important is the earthing consideration. I have these bolts and nuts here and also the washers where I will be showing you how to connect the earthing in this meter box in a short way. So we'll first start with the first things first and have the double cutout here. I open that and screw that so we have this casing here for earthing and the output for neutral the input for neutral is here and uh, here we'll have the face so we simply have to expose that And so using these screws, we'll have it here. This main switch which will be here. Last but not least, we'll have our energy meter here. From the energy meter, we will get the output to go to the consumer unit. Now, on that, we will require to have our cables coming in, where the cables will come in through here, exit to this main switch, and at this main switch, we will now connect them all the way to feed the energy meter, and the output will go to the consumer unit. All right. When getting this cable from the pole, it is important to ensure that you give it an allowance because there is plenty of room in this meter box. Why? Because in future there could be an issue such as arcing which may melt the insulation. And you will require to cut this cable so that you can expose the other cable that doesn't have an issue. So for that reason, 
we create some more room here can even fold it before it goes all the way into the cutout so we'll simply strip it notice my stripping tool here doesn't have any connections So once I cut it, I expose that. And all I need to do is to simply pull it out. So that is the cable. And then I will take these. So this is our neutral connection. And this is our face. Remember, this is all we require at the meter box. The neutral connection connected at the pole. Coming in with this drop cable. And this is the face. So we also strip it. And there we have it. So we have our face connection here. And this is the neutral. Now what we need to do is to tape it from here with a tape all the way here. Just to balance these strands here. To ensure that they are the same level. use our black tape here so with this black tape i will simply ensure that i tape it as a way of insulation that gives us a good insulation all the way from here using my tape so this is what i will do in a simple way do the same or repeat that procedure backwards just to strengthen, you know, my tape like so. The face going all in. And for our neutral, the same case. So that is how they are connected to ensure that the cables go all in especially for our face connection and even for our neutral is all in that cable tie that's it so we will wire this double pole switch to our double cutout. Have our wires here connecting this double cutout to this double pole switch. Let us talk about the earth connection. The earth connection now will be tapped from here and it will go all the way to the consumer unit. Also, it will be connected to the meter box surface because it's metallic. And the other part will go all the way to the earth road. So this earth connection I will tap it from here.
So that is how the connection is made. That is bonded. The neutral and the earth connection are connected there, like so. And we'll go ahead and screw it. Now for the first connection, we will connect it at this other part here of our cutout to go all the way here. Fold it like so. Now I will be having this meter here. For this type of meter, I have a connection here where I need to input the face here and the output of the face here at this first lot. On this other lot, it's reserved for the neutral connection, where the incoming neutral is connected here and screwed at this point, and the outgoing screwed here, which goes to the consumer unit. So let us have it here. So I have to ensure I do a tight connection. The same applies to my neutral cable this one note note that the size of the cable matters a lot the cable that i'm using here is 10 and you shouldn't go below that but you may go higher but not below than 10 millimeter square that is the cross-sectional area all right Now, having wired that connection, last but not least, very important is now to bring in the cables, the main cables from our consumer unit, and we will fix them here. Now, we are going to also do the connection for a thing very, very important. So, again, as we said, we would wish to have our cables coming all the way from below. So, that is why we have our face and our neutral and the earth from the consumer unit coming all the way from below so that we do not have issues to do with rainfall now let me connect these face and neutral first so that will be done with the meter connection before we can finally conclude on the earth connection which is very very important now, for these cables that are going to the consumer unit, we will simply connect them to our energy meter here. So, like I had said, this is the incoming phase and the outgoing live connection will be connected here. Now, this connection is going to the consumer unit. So, the output is connected here. So in this type of meter, that is how the connection is. You need to ensure that you do the correct connection when it comes to your type of meter that you are wiring. So you ensure that the wire goes all in, but you do not screw on the insulation. Very important. Because if you screw on the insulation, it will mean they, there will be a problem with the way that the electricity will be flowing. Because if you screw on the insulation, then it will mean that there will be a strain. Now for this here, we will then connect it 
here at that output. Now we need to connect the earth connection, the last connection, but not the least. Then we'll simply cover there and screw it. We'll simply have this one covering here. And finally screw it here. Make sure that it is tightly done from our cutouts and we have this cable going to our consumer unit we have to strip them i think is wired in this manner from the cutout at the output of the neutral we will tap our i think here so we have our i think here and this other i think is coming from the consumer unit but we still need to earth our wire all the way to the earth road that is just below our meter box so bringing in that wire we have it here look at how i have allowed them to be as long as possible so we have three earth wires from the consumer unit from the neutral here and from the earth road it is located just below the meter box so i will strip it now these three wires will be interconnected and then when i have done a very good connection i will then connect them at my meter board my meter board is metallic and anything electrical that is metallic has to be earthed so that is how we are going to add it now things become very interesting i have drilled a hole there on my metallic meter box and then attached all of those wires on these nuts i'll have to go there and then i will bolt them so that they are in contact with the metallic meter box there so that is basically our earthing completed there as well as the entire meter box wiring 